Most people in America are looking at how do I make a life worth living and return with having. In order to do this, we have to recognize where our boundaries begin and end in the world. If you have a microxism business in the world, and I often like to use the panhandler business, that that is your business of collecting coinage and food and other things to give you a good mood because for some reason you're not able to get online or go into a company and produce yourself a business opportunity in which you make an actual paycheck every week in earnings and income or whatever reason that you can't do that under the law. I don't know what to say to you, but here's what I know, that a man like me is producing a show. And when I produce a show, I have to have topics that people are willing to tolerate hearing me talk about. Now, it could be like me that there are certain people that I love in reading them, but I can't stand listening to them, meaning I just don't like their voice. It's not like the women that I love where I love hearing their voice. The truth is, that is true. We don't expect to know what someone's going to sound like who is a great author. They might have a mousy voice. They might have a loud voice. They might have an particular voice. But when we talk about voice, not only are we talking about tonage of the speaker, but we're also talking about the voice that they have in the community. In other words, what are they talking about? What questions are they trying to raise? What issues are they trying to cover? How What things are they doing in their days is not the point. The point is, I'm not a panhandler. And people often think I'm a panhandler because I accept donations to my ministry and my mission. But when someone comes up to me and offers me something, I have the right to say yes or no. If they come up and offer me something as if I'm totally impoverished, it is sort of how the Lord guides me is whether or not the person is safe for me or not. But when someone who is abusing my intellectual property, abusing my copywritten work, is playing by me as if they have the rights to pretend to be me in identity theft and fraud, I'm pretty pissed off. But I don't need someone outside of my life looking in who doesn't know all the things going on for me, trying to render an opinion of what I am and am not communicating to somebody who plays by me.